Hey guys, this is Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. We're going to do a full face of dupes video. But let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, I am outside. Just because while I was filming towards the end of the video, it became very very dark. So I did want to film an outro for you guys in proper lighting. That's why this much. But my face is like half drugstore and half high end. If you can figure it out, do let me know in the comment section below. But yes, if you are ready to see a full face of dupes video then please keep on watching okay let's begin we're going to do this side high end and this side drug store or lower price point i would say because not everything is like drug store but uh, at a much lesser price point so let's begin the only thing that i have is my brows and that's maybelline brow pencil and this one was in the shade deep brown and for the primer i have say beauty primer this super gel in the shade star glow that's the only thing that i have on my face so let's start off with the foundations on the high end side we're going to dupe this the newest smashbox always on foundation in this i am in the shade m10n which is neutral undertone and on this side and a more affordable side we are gonna uh, try the fenty beauty ease drop now this one definitely is more a skin tint is marketed more as a skin tint and the shade 11 is definitely much more lighter than this the texture wise they're both gonna be very 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 dupable and in the fenty ease drop i'm in the shade number 12 which is with medium with warm golden undertone this is pretty much golden i won't consider this as like a neutral foundation but it is marketed more as a neutral foundation so let's begin i'm gonna first i'll do like a half a pump on this side and we'll see how much we can stretch so let's apply that on the face and now just let's just spread it out now this smashbox uh, foundation has a good amount of coverage i would say medium to full coverage definitely more buildable i need a very tiny little bit for this to just extend all across my face as you can see like covered everything <laughs> and i took like half a pump for half of the face and on the other side let's go with fenty ease drop now this definitely is a lesser coverage product than the smashbox one but again i would say for a skin tint this is definitely on a medium buildable coverage foundation this might be a tad bit light but nothing nothing noticeable see definitely covers for a skin tint for sure So I'll give you a close up smash box on this side and Fenty ease drop on this side. Like pretty similar, pretty similar. <laughs> okay, let's move on. For concealer on the high end side, I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury what is this called? Radiant Concealer, Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. In this, I am in the shade number 1010. And on this side, on the drugstore side, I'm going to take my Catrice True Skin Concealer. And this one, I'm in the shade 046, which is Warm Toffee. Very, very similar product. None of them are like liquidy by any means. They're very like a creamy uh, texture. So I'm going to just do there, little there, little here right there and on the true skin side i'm gonna do there put on the nose there let's take two different concealer brush we'll do charlotte tilbury with the bk beauty and we'll do uh, the drugstore side with Laura Lee Los Angeles concealer brush, which is L24. I like to stamp on the concealer and I like that shape a lot, like that slanted shape, which both of them has. This is just a little bit more bigger than this. Lift it out. I do have discoloration around my mouth.
So look how similar both of these products are. Charlotte Tilbury on this side and Catrice on this side. Very creamy product, gives a good amount of like a full coverage. I would say medium to full coverage on the uh, underneath the eyes. And even when I check like the wear time, it's pretty, pretty similar. Okay, now let's move on to the blush. I have two cream blushes to mention. On the high-end side, I'm going to take my Tower 28 blush. And this one is in the shade Office Hours. It's a beautiful mauve toned blush. I love to wear this for like an everyday effect. I really, really love how neutral it is, how pinky mauve it is. I really love that. Again, this one is in the shade Office Hours. On the drugstore side, I'm going to take my Dalton Beauty cream blush. And this one is in the shade she's a doll now you can see side by side how similar these products are especially on the face it's gonna look so similar let me swatch it for you guys so that you can see now this is tower 28 office hours and then on the other finger i'm gonna take dalton beauty she's a doll it's exactly the same now texture wise i would say tower 28 is a little bit more on the tackier side like it has a little bit more of a glow to it whereas the uh, dalton one is definitely more like matte on application when it sets down it's more like it sets to a matte finish so let's apply them on our face and then i'll show you how it looks okay let's take our tower 28 blush I've often felt like these Tower 28 blushes have those like, I don't know, dot dots coming throughout it if it sits for a longer period of time and you don't use it. I've not seen any like wear difference, but you know, <laughs> let me know if you have seen those things and how do you like eliminate that? Again, this is office hours. I hope you can see that. It's very rosy, very, very natural on the face. And let's take Dalton Beauty on a different BK Beauty brush. And this is from Angie Hot and Flashy A507. Look at that. Again, the shade is very, very similar. Yeah, nobody can tell me it's not the same product. Look at that. Stunning. Okay, now I'm just going to set my face. Uh, because I don't have any more like cream products. I'm just gonna set with my Givenchy Prism Leap Powder because we are not duping any powders today. So I'm just gonna apply that on both the sides. Okay, let's move on to the highlighters because this is gonna be interesting. On the high-end side, I'm gonna dupe the Rare Beauty highlighter and this one especially is in the shade mesmerize which i love absolutely love it's more of a like a pinky toned highlight can you open yeah <laughs> this one really really pretty oh my god if you know me you know that i love it absolutely love this one and from the drugstore side i have this one from pixie beauty and this one we are going to dupe it with this shade. This actually duo is in the shade Delicate Dew. And it's still available on Pixie Beauty's website. This pinky shade is what we are duping with. So let's me, let me swatch it first. So this is Pixie Beauty. And this is Rare Beauty. Look how similar that is. It's stunning. Like it's absolutely similar. Let me just swatch it for you guys. Look at that. I mean, in swatch, if I really, I don't know which one is what, but in the swatch, this looks a little bit more on the pinkier side, but the shine is very similar. Like the product that is a milled, it's so very similar. I definitely want to put it on my face and then show you guys how it appears. So I'm going to take a more of a denser brush. I'm going to take this Real Technique setting brush and then I'll just flip the sides. I'm just going to take this, the Pixie Beauty highlighter. Okay, drugstore. I'm going to just take that on the high points on this side. Look how beautifully it glows. 
I hope you can see that. Like the glow is stunning. And then I'm gonna just flip the brush and go to the Rare Beauty side and take a similar amount of product and then just apply that on the high points here. Again, stunning glow. Just melting it into my skin. And let me show you the close up. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my nose too. Just because I like it. I like my nose to shine, okay? Okay, there you go. Rare Beauty. And Pixie Beauty. Really, really beautiful products, I would say. I feel like you can see a little more shine on this side. But trust me, both of them are like that pinky effect on the face. It's really, really pretty. Let's move on to the lips first. For the lip liner, I have Too Faced. What is this called? The Too Faced Lady Bold Lip Liner in the shade Fierce Vibes Only. And this is a beautiful chocolatey brown shade. So let me swatch it for you. So that's Too Faced. And then duping that Too Faced lip liner is the lip liner from NYX. And this one is in the shade Brown. I'm going to just swatch it right underneath that. And you can see like how similar these products are. Let's apply it on our lips. Okay, now let's go with the NYX brown pencil. And that's how the lip liners are looking on my lips. Tell me if you can tell me the difference because I certainly cannot, certainly cannot. Okay, let's move on to lipsticks. The lipstick that I'm gonna dupe is from Pat McGrath. And this one is in the shade 1995, which is like a mauve tone lipstick. So I'm gonna just swipe it right next to the Too Faced one. And the lipstick that's that dupes that 1995 Pat McGrath lipstick is from Milani and this one is in the shade Secret. So let me swatch it right underneath that, right there. You can see how similar those are. Let's apply it on our lips. And you can see how similar that lips turned out to be. Like I cannot say that difference. It's a, such a beautiful everyday nudie shade. I love it. Okay, now let's move on to the eyes because I know everybody's excited about the eyes, right? <laughs> okay, so let's move on. The eyeshadow palette that I am going to dupe is Rose Quartz from Huda Beauty. There's been a lot of dupes in the market, but I feel like I have the closest one out of the lot. And the palette that is uh, duping, the Rose Quartz palette is from Alter Ego. And this is that Coastal palette. It's just such similar vibes. Let me put it right next to each other so that you can see it. Look how similar, how similar it is. Obviously it's placed a little different and my room doesn't have much light just because the window, it's gloomy out there. But also because of the background, because this is more of a clear background and this is on the pinker background, it might appear to be more pink, but I'll apply it on the eyes and just do similar uh, shades on the both of the eyes. And let's see how similar it is. So high end on this side, drugstore on this side. So let's begin. Okay, I'm gonna start off with this shade Reef from the Alter Ego palette. It's more of like a gray toned mauve shade. And I'm gonna apply that as my crease shade. I'm taking a very loose fluffy brush. This one is from Morphe. Even though that looks like a gray shade, it's definitely showing up on my skin. I don't know how much you can see actually. Where is the sun? Sun, where are you? Right there. Okay. Okay, now let's take another brush. 
and let's take the shade that is similar to that reef shade which is this and this is a radiate this one and I'm gonna take this on another Morphe brush this is from Morphe Jaclyn Hill collaboration just taking it on that tapping off the excess and building up the crease very similar on the eyes Ooh, that is same now let's take the shade urchin which is this gray shade this shade on this eye and then here we are going to take the shade precious this one on the right eye let's take two other brushes similar I would say similar let's take urchin a deeper gray shade for sure it's a gray mob and mixing it with the first shade reef and I'm also going to take the same shade on the lower lash line too there's definitely kick up in the pan it doesn't bother me much as long as it's performing nicely i'm okay with it especially these neutral shades like if it was like a blue or a green i would have been like a little concerned but neutral i'm okay with okay so now you see this is definitely much more smokier let's move on to the next eye and i'm going to take the shade precious from the huda beauty palette again a deep mauve gray shade by the way if you are thinking smithy why you have eyeliner on your eyes it's because i went to church in the morning but i wanted to record for you guys and i didn't want to like take it off so i just had like a moisturizer on my face just the brows and an eyeliner because you know I don't step out of the house without brows and eyeliner that's why and I had like a deeper toned lip which I took off as soon as I came absolutely no problems while blending loving it this seems a little bit more darker so let me just build it up a tad bit You know how much I love my mobs. Okay, so I feel like now we are pretty similar. This area is a little bit more like darker. Let me just turn up my blinds. Hopefully it will help a tad bit. But this eye is a little bit more on the darker side. That's what I'm seeing. I'm just going to take the same blending brush that we used previously on this eye and just blend out the edges. And similarly on this eye and just blend okay let's take a smaller blending brush and I'm gonna take this shade which is haze which is the deepest shade of the palette so I'm gonna take that and then apply that on the extreme outer corners and just to build up my deepen up my outer corners Actually, I'm going to take a different brush. I'm going to take more of a platter brush. Right there. That deepened out definitely. And I'm also going to take the same shade on the outer corners of the lower lash line. Just like that. Taking a separate brush for the Huda Beauty side. And I'm going to take this shade which is Mantra and then taking that tapping off the excess and start to deepen out now i'm going to take my next glitter glue apply it on both the eyelids dying to play with the shade sand the shade so let's take that I'm going to take sand, I'm going to place that 
Oh my, so sparkly. It sparkles so nicely. If you cannot see how this performs in this light, because it's definitely a little more darker, I'll take a picture in the outside lighting and I'll show you how it performs because I feel like it's definitely dark. I'm just melting the edges just like that. And I'm going to take the same shade from this palette, which would be Energized. Where is it again? Yeah, there you go. This one, Energized. So let's take that. Oh my, so pretty. Taking the same thing, the same brush, just blending out the edges. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. Good that I stopped. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna take a small but a fluffy like a stubby brush and I'm going to go into this shade which is Jellyfish which is a matte pastel white uh, pink shade and I'm going to take that just to brighten up the inner corners just because I don't want any thing taken out from that shimmer shade which actually looks a little darker on this side we'll see and I'm gonna do the same thing from this palette too and I'm gonna take this shade which is cherished and I'm gonna apply that there can you hear the thunder yeah it's gonna rain that's why okay there you go I'm gonna finish up this eye with some liner and mascara and then I'll show you the final look Oh, finally, I do have, I just finished off my eyes with some liner and then I thought about the mascara dupe. On the high end, I'm going to take my Merit Beauty uh, mascara and on the drugstore, I'm going to take my Sky High mascara. So let's do that. actually started with my sky high mascara and then I thought I have to record both of these mascara give great amount of length to the lashes not so much volume but amazing length can you see that going to take a second coat of Merit too, just because I had the Maybelline first coat already before I started recording again. I'm just going to spray my face. And let me show you a close up on how everything looks. I really, really love how both the sides of the faces turn out because I, let me get a little closer because of the light situation. I feel like the, it's very similar. Like both the sides are very similar. One thing that I would say is the Huda Beauty uh, eyeshadow area, definitely that shimmer shade is much more lighter compared to the Alter Ego one. The Alter Ego one is a tad bit darker, but has like a very similar shininess but definitely a little bit more on the darker side is what I'm seeing I'll give you a close-up on the outside lighting too but I okay I'm gonna conclude my video like this because there was no light and if you can hear the rain noise it's because it is raining <laughs> that is why uh, but yes I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this dupes video of my full face this side this side was drugstore and this side was high end. So now you can see it all in action how my face looks. 
do let me know in the comment section below did you like this dupes video or not if you did like it you know what to do do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 am eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys